Formerly called the blue-green algae, the cyanobacteria is a group that consists of aquatic and photosynthetic prokaryotes. They lack complex organelles and a membrane-bound nucleus. Unlike other bacteria, their cell membrane is equipped with thylakoids that contain chlorophyll A, allowing them to release oxygen through photosynthesis. This release of oxygen was said to change the Earth's atmosphere from a reducing to an oxidizing one, shaping the ecology and evolution of various life forms. There are various body forms that can be observed in cyanobacteria. Unicellular organisms, such as those under cucoid, form colonies with two or more cells. Enclosed in a mucilaginous sheath, they form a jelly-like mass. Others can be found as single, solitary-celled organisms. Trichomates or filamentous forms may observe true and false branching filaments and can be uniseriate or multiseriate, in which some can be enclosed in a gelatinous sheath. Cyanobacteria are traditionally grouped based on their body forms under these five orders. Order Crucocallus, solitary cells, aggregations, and colonies not reproducing by spores. Order Pleurocapsalis, solitary cells, aggregations, and short filaments reproducing by spores. Order Oscillatorialis, unbranched homocystis filaments, examples, without heteresis and acunates. Order Nosticalis, unbranched filaments with heteresis and acunates. Order Stegonematalis, branch filaments, sometimes multiseriate, with heteresis and acunates. Nosticalis and Stegonematalis have now been found to be a monophyletic group based on the 16S rRNA analysis. Cyanobacteria are predominantly freshwater and contain pigments such as chlorophyll A, a cyanin, which is blue, c phycoerythrin, which is red, beta-carotenes, and several types of xanthophylls that assist in this photosynthetic process as they are photoautotrophic and produce cyanophycine starch, which has a similar structure to glycogen. The mode of reproduction for cyanobacteria can either be cell division for unicellular organisms or fragmentation for filamentous organisms. Cyanobacteria are well known to be nitrogen fixators that are economically and environmentally important. A representative for the unicellular body type is a gliocapsa. Gliocapsa, or the crucocalis. The gliocapsa is a relatively simple cyanobacterium that is found on moist substrates. Its round to spherical bodies either grow singly or in small aggregations held together by a firm mucilaginous sheath. The sheath, concentrically laminate around 1, 2, 3, or 8 cells, is often colored and has distinct layers that outline each cell. Reproduction is carried out via simple binary fission. For the filamentous thallus type, there are two representatives. Homocystinase species contain cells that are uniform in size. Cells are mostly vegetative, branch, and do not possess any heteresis. Spirulina, order oscillatorialis. This filamentous homocystis cyanobacterium is easily distinguishable by its spiral trichome formed by a single spirally twisted cell that lacks a mucilaginous sheath. The cell is cylindrical, and according to the species, the spiral may be closed or loose. The spirulina has been labeled as a health food due to its high protein content. Heteresystinase species possess heteresis and acunates. Cells are unbranched and made of filaments. They are good materials for fertilizing plants because they have a thicker cell wall and possess heteresists that aid in nitrogen fixation. Anabina or the Nosticalis. The Anabina is a filamentous cyanobacterium that is either solitary or euplanctonic. Its cells may be spherical, barrel-shaped, or subcylindric. In addition, its trichomes may be straight, regularly coiled, or entangled. The Anabina contains specialized cells called heteresists and acunates. Heteresists, which contain a granular cytoplasm abundant in cyanophyking granules, are conspicuous cells that are utilized in nitrogen fixation, while acunates are large and thick-walled cells that are formed after a dormant state due to the unfavorable environmental conditions and grow through a period of active growth. Both of these cells are significantly larger than the vegetative cells. 
The vegetative filaments of the anabena appear as a string of beads.